Good day fellow investors, I recently made a video about Gazprom, how it is up 70%, how I already got the dividend, etc. And then I, in my inbox I got a few messages whether it is too late to join my stock market research platform and the portfolios that I have there, whether it is now after 9 months of one portfolio and a year and a half of the other portfolio, as those are a little bit up, there are some stocks like Gazprom that are up 70% even more. Is it too late to, to join? Well, in this video, I want to give you something more important than joining or not. I want to give you a long-term perspective on investing. What is the core when it comes to investing and how you should think it as a lifelong process. And I'll discuss that by explaining my portfolios, what I do and why it is actually never too late to join. Let's start. So when it comes to lifelong investing, the key is to build a portfolio, but you build a portfolio over 10 years. If you look at Buffett, 1989 Coca-Cola, 2009 Burlington Santa Fe, and now the portfolio, yes, looks great, but in the last 50 years, he held a lot of stocks, a lot of stocks didn't fit his long-term criteria, things changed, and now he built that and grew that portfolio and he held only to those great stocks. So if you get one great stock per year from what I do, that will give you enormous value over the long term, excellent returns. So the focus is to find great businesses over the long term. If you find one in a year, that is what makes your long term returns, what makes your portfolio. Invest patiently over time, buy the most under undervalued assets in the current market and then simply patiently wait, wait for the businesses to deliver your long-term returns. So let's explain my portfolios and see how this notion of long-term investment fits there and see also that it's never too late to join because it's me that does the research for you. So you make the decision based on my research whether an investment, the risk and reward is fit for your portfolio, for your risk appetite and for your requirements and financial goals. The most important thing whenever it comes to investing is that you come from point A now to point B, which are your financial goals in the future. Let's see the portfolios. So I manage two portfolios. One is a lump sum portfolio where I invested 100,000 as a lump sum. Yes, I started it in January 2019. I still waited for some cash to come from some tax uh, things that I did earlier, just a small return on that. And since a few months, it is now a lump sum portfolio of 100,000 where I will not add money and I will not take money out. So I want to manage that as a representation of my long-term return to build a track record. The second portfolio is the model portfolio that I started in May 2018, that I started with 10,000 and I add 1,000 each month. I think that the lump sum portfolio and the model portfolio with monthly additions cover most of the needs that you in, as an investor have. Some have lump sums to invest, some have monthly additions to invest. So wherever you are, there is something for you by showing two different portfolios. The goal of the lump sum portfolio is to maximize long-term investment returns. So to build a track record for me. So wherever, whenever you start, you see the positions there and then you see, okay, how can we continue to reach good returns over the long term? With the model portfolio, I add a thousand each month, I buy something each month and you can simply make your own model portfolio over the long term by following those monthly additions and see what's still worth from the past. Let's see about performance. So over the last 16 months, I started with 10,000 with the model portfolio, I added 16,000 and now the value of the portfolio in euros is 31,250. So that's a plus of 5,250. I've made a calculation that the start was 10,000, 16,000 was added over 16 months. So the average addition would be 8,000, thus the average portfolio would be 18,000. The achieved return is 
2000, the performance is 29% over 16 months. Yes, that's a good performance. Some stocks are up, some stocks are up 100%. I sold one Brazilian that was up 80%. So, okay, that is the best. But still, there are many stocks that are still great buys, that I think that are great businesses, and that will do well over time. The goal of this portfolio is to reach a million if I do 12.5% over the next 18 years, 18 and a half years remaining, this portfolio should be at and above 1 million. For now, with the performance, I'm on a good road to get there. Dividends, takeovers, investments, rebalancing should bring me to this. And so really the 29% increase over the last year and a half is irrelevant when you put it in the perspective of the 1 million in 20 years. The most important thing is to continue to deliver that return over time, dividends, takeovers, um, stocks up, rebalancing the portfolio. We did a few trades here and there, but mostly we buy businesses. Little by little, the portfolio should go up, up and up by the monthly additions. The monthly additions manage the risk because I know that over the next 12 months, I'll get another 12,000 into it. So if something crashes, I'm happy to buy if that is a great business. Some businesses I bought, I didn't add more, I sold them because they weren't a great businesses as there was the indication that they could become in the past. Some really became great businesses, which was great. Let's discuss the lump sum portfolio. So the lump sum portfolio, 100,000 in it. I started in January, I still wanted to do a lot of research. So it wasn't a complete portfolio until a few months ago, but the performance, how, this, how my broker calculates it on the invested money was pretty good over the last nine months. However, I prefer it to calculate it on the 100,000, even if a lot of it was in cash during the time. So I'm 16% up. Some of that 16% is thanks to Gazprom, some thanks to some dividends. There has been one trade I made. So again, accumulating returns over the long term, reinvesting those dividends, looking for opportunities, waiting for opportunities with the cash. So that's what I will continue to do. I'll continue to do relentless research. You are buying, if you buy my research platform, you are buying the future, not also the experience and the accumulated research from the 15 sectors I analyzed in the past, but you are buying the mindset, the long-term orientation for the future, for your future portfolios, for your future performance based on risk and reward. And then that's something you always have to see how it fits you. I have analyzed about 15 sectors in the past. I will continue now. I want to look at shipping. We recently looked at chemicals, didn't find anything that interesting. Let's see if there is some undervalued margin of safety value investments in shipping that's pretty beaten down. It's a risky sector, but if you look deep, you might find one. I'm happy if I found one good investment to follow over the long term. Over the last 15 sectors, I came up with a comparative table of stocks. We are now just shy of 30 names on it. A lot of names fall off because I discontinue coverage because the quality of the business isn't enough. And this is just one part of the table that I'm showing here. There is then a part with 13 questions with grades from one to 10 on a scale that sums up the value of the business, the risk and reward and the outlook for investors. So I plan to increase this table to 100 names over the next years. Probably there will be 50 really great businesses. And of those 50 great businesses, there will always be a few that are in bargain territory because of various short term markets gyrations. So that's what I do. If you want to follow this, check my stock market research platform. I really believe it's a bargain for less than $1 a day. So 349 per year. And I do research, full-time research. I spend some time doing videos, but mostly I read, I do research, I analyze companies. And if you want me and my experience to do that for you, it will never be too late to join. 
Thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to your comments. If you have any questions about the platform, feel free to send me an email. I'm always happy to reply and see whether this is something that fits you. If it's not, there is a 30 day, 28 day money back guarantee and you get your money back very, very quickly. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.